What's going on, guys? Ichigo Kings are here with another video. Um, this one's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna do my absolute best to compare these two people. Um, so we have on one hand Ukiora Cipher, number four Espada. Doesn't mean he's number four. Peace. Um, so we obviously know that he's massively faster than light. The Calx versus Ichigo. Um, Ichigo was light speed in the uh. In the wow, Soul Society arc, he was light speed against Byakuya. Um, it's it's just downplay at this point that Bankai Ichigo should be at least two to five times the speed of light in um, when he first goes Bankai, and then you have Ukiora, which was beating the killed Ichigo pretty much with one Saro um, in Ukiora's base. So you could say Ukiora in his base is anywhere from, and again I'm just throwing numbers i'm not really doing calcs today but i'm going to give you a decent estimate he would be anywhere from probably 10 to 40 times the speed of light in base hence how he just manhandled ichigo and ichigo was obviously trained more to go into waco mundo hence he got bodied by grimjow um so he did fight grimjow and then he did do much better after training with his hollow mask on and whatnot but base ukiyo dookied all over all over Bankai Ichigo in base. So yeah, he, he should be anywhere from at least like 10 to 40 times the speed of light. And then you take his um his first resurrection times 10. So you have times 100 to times, times 400 the speed of light. And then it's another resurrection times, it would be times 100 because that's a second release. So you would take either 100 and times by 100, which would be, Jesus fuck, like 10,000 times the speed of light to 40,000 times the speed of light. So he's anywhere in that ballpark. And downplaying that would just be stupid. Um, they even, Bleach characters do get much, actually, much, much faster when the series progresses. Um, so yeah, we have him 10,000 to 40,000 times the speed of light. With That's pretty much calced out right there. Um, you guys can do whatever calcs you want. If you have a problem with that, you can comment. Um, we can go debate on that. Friendly, too. I'm not a, not a dick. So that's pretty much Ukiora's speed. Now we're going to go over his AP. And I'm not going to let you guys know who he's fighting at until I am done with Ukiora. And I think this is how some of the videos are going to go from now on. Like, I'm going to break down one character after another. And I think that's going to help a lot of, um, better understand these matches. So, for AP, we know base Ukiora. Well, actually, any of the, I think, four and lower Espada, maybe maybe six to one, can destroy Last Noches with a Grand Racer in base. Which would be at least a small country area, if not country plus. Um, and if you calc that vaporization, it would be about continental. Which, that's that's base. Base form, small country to continental is a pretty good... That's pretty good for the Espada, honestly. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, that's really, really good, actually. So, we see Ukiora fight Ichigo. And after this is after Ichigo gets his amp from fighting Grimjow. The pot amp. <coughs> mm. Yeah, that one. Um, he does do very well against Ukiora. Like, he actually does surprise Ukiora when he puts his mask on and throws a Gatsuka Tensho at him. Ukiora's like, wow, you actually ripped my clothing a little bit. And shows him that he's number four. And Ichigo's like, damn, that sucks. This is actually when he um, first fought Ukiora when he fought. Or when um, He almost got killed by Ukiora. He thought he, was, he said he was number four. And he, Ichigo's like, Holy god damn, this guy is way stronger than I anticipated. Um, then they, they fight again after um, Ichigo does fight um, Awaken Grimjaw, Resurrection Grimjaw. He does a lot better against base Ukiora. Follow me, base. Base Ukiora. Um, and at this point, Ichigo would be much faster. He's probably in that 10 to 40 times the speed of light range. Maybe higher, but he's doing well against I Ukiora. And I think Ukiora still has the edge here. Um, and just battle experience and AP still, and honestly, probably a little bit of speed. We do see um, Ichigo in his mask and Bankai. He's Hollow Mask and Bankai. Okay, he's V2 Mask and Bankai right now. So he has two amps helping him out right now. And base Ukiyori is still keeping up with him. Is very relative, if not still a little bit stronger. Um, Ichigo does not damage Ukiyori in base. He does not get much damage done at all, really. And as soon as they go above the canopy of Las Noches, which is, they do this because Ukiora's release would literally destroy um, Hikomundo. <laughs> so yeah, or Las Noches, I forget which it is, but um, 
either way being a pretty crazy feat by just transforming. So as soon as he does, uh, he gets his times 10 amp, which would put him in that 100 to 400 times speed of light um, area. And he absolutely shits all over a fucking, a Bankai masked Ichigo. It is in no sense, they're like way, way apart now. Like it is a huge difference. So to say the speed is that different is not really like a, a downplay. Like Ichigo is in the 10 to 40 times speed of light in this point, And Ukiyo is 100 to 400 times speed of light. He's 10 times faster than Ichigo is at least bare minimum. He's bodying this form of Ichigo. And then he took just crush Ichigo's will. He goes Segunda Gutapa. And let me just tell you, he throws a a Lance Dutter and Pagra, I think I pronounced that correctly. When it blows up, it literally makes Las Noches look like a little dot. So he's throwing he's these these attacks are easily continental plus attacks. Um, Wakamundo is huge. There's a downplay on Wakamundo, but it is a massive area. Uh, you can literally see the curvature over the land, so that would obviously mean it is a big, a big area. So the Lance Dead Run Pagro, he can throw multiple times. Like he can't just he can probably spam them. Um, it might take some like he can just open them up and create them and throw multiple. So yeah. Um, Ukior is easily multi-continental plus. I honestly, I really do put him to moon level because if you factor in the fact, and Segundo Gutapa, he killed Ichigo. Bankai masked Ichigo. Um, if he went to the world of living in Segundo Gutapa, it would have been horrible. He would have killed Stark, or been overpowered by, he would have overpowered Stark, overpowered Baragon, and I think, the personally, the only person to stop a Segundo Gutapa Ukiyar would be Yamamoto, in my opinion, um... And, and my reasoning behind this is because when, you know, you see Sun Shui fight against Stark, which, you know, he's not really having the heart of the time. Um, one of the, which one of the stronger captains at the time. And if you say Bankai masked Ichigo is not captain level, that's downplay. Um, he was stated by Ukitake to have a captain-like aura when he went to rescue Ruki on the bridge without even a Bankai. So... We're past the point of Ichigo being a captain. Segundo Gutapa would definitely beat the shit out of most of the captains. If not, maybe, like, maybe Kenpachi. But like, at the time, he didn't have, you know, he was holding back unconsciously. And he almost lost to Nonatora. So I really do think Ukiyo would have killed him. Personally, that's my opinion. You guys can put whatever you want on there. I do not think Byaki is standing a chance against Ukiyo. He's way too fast. He would fire off a Sarah Oscuros and just demolish Enbon Sakura. I honestly personally believe. He's way faster than Byakuya, way faster than Kenpachi, and Segundo Gutapa. Should be much faster than uh, Stark. Um, Clyde stated this. Fucking, I've seen multiple videos that put Ikoya Ukiyo at the top with Segundo Gutapa, and it, it's not that far of a stretch. Um, so yeah, we have this guy multi-continental to honestly like moon level. If he can just throw these lances around like they're nothing, Sarascaras like they're nothing, combat the Vastor Lorde who blew open the gates of hell. Yeah, he's he's easily multi continent to the moon level, um, and moon levels a, is might be a highball to some of you guys, but just think about this: if he was on the moon and could do these landslide on Pagros, who's to say like maybe two or three of these couldn't just annihilate most of the moon? The attacks were huge; they were like nuke plus attacks that he was just casually throwing around. So yeah, we have him at at Segunda Gutapa. At 10,000 to 40,000 times speed of light. And multi-continental to moon level. And he's fighting Sasuke Uchiha. That's what we're going to do now. He is fighting Sasuke Uchiha. The hidden... The shadow Hokage of Naruto. Um, adult Sasuke, I'm not going to um, compare. Because I honestly do think that adult Sasuke is well above planet. He fought Kinshiki, Momoshiki, who are actually planet busters. Um, and Kaguya, who created her own dimension, who could, which, which could destroy a planet. And Adult Sasuke would be above Kaguya. Um, he fought a... So yeah, now we're getting into Sasuke. He fought a Kinshiki while fatigued with no Tomo in his Renegon. Uh, no Mount Gekio Sharingan either. So you could say Sasuke was 40 to 50% using his power, maybe 60%. And he fought a Planet Buster. 
even at a low ball, Kinshiki would be like small planet. Um, extreme low ball would be multi continent. That's just stupid. So, and then he fought Momoshiki. Um, and he wasn't beating him alone, but he definitely was landing blows. He was tricking him. He was using his Renegon. He was landing attacks. So to say that Sasuke in adult form is not planetary is just downplay. So we will not be comparing that for him. Sasuke wins in adult form. It wouldn't be easy, but he'd definitely be able to do it. So we're going to be comparing War Arc Sasuke. So first of all, we know Naruto characters are FTL plus at this point. Um, you know, you see the Rakage, he's throwing lightning fast. But he's throwing punches that are as fast as light stated in the manga. So it's just downplay to say they're not FTL plus. Um, you know, you have Minato, who has the Rajin flying jutsu there, which is FTL plus casually, casually. Um, and then you have Sasuke with his, um, EMS and Renegon during the war arc. So he, to me, would be above Minato at that point. You know, Tensei Minato anyway, maybe not Prime, that's up for debate, contentious. But he's many times the speed of light. Um, I would say, like... It's so hard to put a number on Sasuke because there is so many different forms that he goes through. And I'm honestly like, I don't know where to put him at. For speed, it's it's hard. Um, AP is honestly, so we'll kind of, if this makes sense, base his speed off AP in a sense. Just follow me here. Follow me. So we have Stage of Six Pass Naruto, KCM2 Cloak, I think KCM2, dodging Madara's Light Fang. Which is light speed. It, he, and also, he was like right here while dodging it. So, it should easily be like multiple times the speed of light. And to me, um, Bleach characters, or Naruto characters, pass the speed of light, honestly, when uh, people say how the, those that Haku mirrors, but I wouldn't go as far as that. I would say like they were hitting light speed probably when Itachi came around. Um, and then Shippuden, maybe, uh, the beginning of Shippuden, they were definitely doing light speed attacks. You have Sasuke fighting the Rakage, you have him fighting B. Most of the Bijus should be light speed at this point, being that they tier as they do. So, to say that Naruto characters aren't light speed, at least bare minimum, is downplay. You have, like, Kakashi cutting a lightning bolt, which would be faster than lightning. Um, you have, you know, just massive show showings of light speed attacks and um speed in naruto so other than that you have sasuke has the renegon which can swap out items that's like a base thing he can travel through dimensions with it um as is when he went to kakuya's dimension uh, so basically he can like split through planes of existence which is cool that's dope um he can make you he can put you under genjutsu he has a mangekyo sharingan ems actually since he uses um he put itachi's eyes in so he has EMS, he has all the abilities of Sharingan, all the Genjutsu he can use, Amaterasu, um, he has, uh, oh my god, Chidori, which is light speed, it's light speed, he literally caught Naruto off guard with it, and Naruto has Sage Mode and Biju Mode active while he was fighting Sasuke. Went behind Naruto and just, boom, smacked him out of the way. So yeah, Sasuke is way past FTL. <laughs> Way past FTL, bro. He blitzed a fucking Sage Mode Bijou Naruto. Oh, it's Six Pass, too. If they had Six Pass, I think they... I don't know if they had Six Pass, still. So I think they did. Either way, it's still ridiculously impressive to blitz someone like that that was fighting Madara. So I, I personally would put them in the least a couple times, 100 times speed of light. Um, maybe that's a high ball. Um, if you guys have some opinions out there, throw them down or some numbers. But I would say that's a pretty good estimate. And now, another feat we see, we see Sasuke using the Susano to cut meteors that Madara was dropping onto people. He was literally summoning, I would say there was 20 to 40 meteors, a couple dozen meteors, and Sasuke was just casually flying around, slicing these meteors in half, which should be at least a country level meteor. Like if they if these meteors hit the ground, it would cause a mass amount of damage. So Sasuke's easily a country buster in Su with Susano. Um, and I, I would honestly go as far as Continental Plus because of he gets majestic Susano attire. He gets many amps. He gets the six pass chakra. And honestly, I would put him at Continental Plus before Sage's six pass chakra with the Susano. Just because I personally think he could have displayed the same feat. I think he he did 
caught the meters, I think, before Sage of Six Pass mode, but if not, please correct me, I hate being wrong. So, yeah, the Sage of Six Pass amp was the biggest amp that these guys got, I would argue. Um, it's a god aura, pretty much, like a god form of chakra, in a sense. And, he, yeah, he fought Casey and Naruto, he fought the Nine Tails Chakra with Susano, and um, when they fought, Sasuke was kind of winning, but Naruto was also playing the defense, he wasn't really trying to hurt Sasuke. And we see these guys casually cutting mountains off. Um, no, they're not mountain level. They were just casually cleaving mountains in, in half. Like when Sasuke dropped his sword, he like just dropped the sword of Susano, just like <laughs> cleaved a piece of a mountain off. So just dropping a sword, yeah, that's good. Um, and they fought Kaguya, which is a planetary threat easily. We already went over this. If not star level, she can create her own pocket dimension and destroy the planet with the... Um, mm, those fucking balls there. She, ah, damn. It'll come to me, but you 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 know what I'm saying. The the orbs, the the orbs, yeah, those things. They they can literally sum the suck in a, a planet and destroy a planet. So she's planetary. Um, Naruto and Sasuke are very relative to her, and they actually pretty much blitzed her at some points. Uh, maybe not, but they they fought her pretty decently well until she put Sasuke in a different dimension. But then he came back, and they were able to seal her away. So, at this point, Sasuke should easily be multi-continental, if not a bit higher. So, and he does have hacks. So, let's just get down to it here. It's kind of getting a lengthy video, but... So, speed, it definitely goes to Ukiyar at this point. Um, to me, personally, Segunda Gutapa would be, like, fighting... <sighs> I don't know, in Naruto, how to tear that, but... Yeah, he definitely has him in speed. Um, power's different. He, Sasuke has a lot of hacks he could use. He could put Ukiyo in a different dimension, hence when Grimjaw did it. And Krim come up with a plan to beat him. Susano could come in handy as well. Majestic attire, Susano should at least be multi-continental to small planet. So that helps with AP there. Attack potency is good, but if you can't tag your opponent, what the fuck are you going to do? You know? Um, and this is my view on things. You guys... Do whatever you want, but um, in this in this case, Segundo Gutapu Ukiyora should be faster than than War Arc Sasuke. Um, not really much of a stretch. Um, even if you wanted to even the speeds, um, AP would still be going to Ukiyora, hence you could just casually throw around Lancelot and Pagra. Ooh, and you know that would if he hit Sasuke with that directly on with the Susano. Do you, do you know what that, that would do? It would just blow apart Susano. Like, there's no way. He would just be like, oh, yeah, it's going to just blow away Lance Stone and Pogger. No, no. If he got hit by that, it's going boom. It made last note just look like a pebble, bro, which, again, is a country plus size area, if not continental plus. So, yeah, he's getting hit by these attacks, and he, Ukiyo can just fire off these attacks like they're nothing. He's like, oh, yeah, ground right, Sarah. They go, boom, Sarah, screw us. And he can regenerate, too. Let's just remember that. Ukiora can regenerate. And his Pesquisa ability, his skin ability, is ridiculous, dude. Who is to say that Sasuke can even hurt him with his Pesquisa? And I, this might be triggering some Naruto people, honestly. But um, in my opinion, they the Espada get downplayed a lot. So this is kind of why I'm doing this. And I'm not saying Sasuke is absolutely trashed on but i just think that ukiyar is faster and could display more ap what you know than sasuke at this point in time and for the sake of argument we will leave sage six pass out of it because he was again fighting kaguya who can destroy a planet-sized realm though i wouldn't put him at kaguya's level because you need a naruto and kakashi to finish her off so yeah, uh, so you can count Sage of Six Pass. I would still take Ukiyar over that. Durability wise, Pesquisa is ridiculous. Like each his Ichigo's Bankai wasn't even you know itching his skin. So yeah, and we already did the Kalki's ten thousand to forty thousand times the speed of light, and I don't see Naruto characters even coming close to that. I'm sorry, that's a that's my calcs. I do not see Naruto or Sasuke anywhere near that at this point. Um, if you want to say that a couple hundred times the speed of light, that's fine. Totally cool. Maybe, maybe, maybe a thousand. But even though, that's nowhere near Ukiora's speed. And even if they had an equal AP, 
Ukiara could literally just speed blitz and rip his face off. That's pretty much it. Um, you know, he could try Amaterasu, but Pesquisa. It's not going to burn something it can't, you know, burn. And, remember, in Bleach, if you are have more spiritual pressure than your opponent or, like, Ryatsu, you can overpower their ability. So I think, personally, he would just overpower Amaterasu at this point. We're not talking adult Sasuke. Adult Sasuke would beat him. Understand that right now. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't see him surviving against Sugendu Gutapa. Like, base Ukiora? Def yeah, yeah, I would definitely say maybe even first form, first resurrection Ukiora, but Sugendu Gutapa is just way, way too fast, way, way too powerful for Sasuke. I definitely think he could just blitz Sasuke right out of the Susano and kill him. That's it. Honestly, that's my personal opinion. Um, I've watched both animes quite a bit. I know feats. Um, yeah, again, he could just put he could put Ukiyo in a different dimension, but he would come right back eventually. You know, he would find a way. He came out of the Kar Karhar Nagasio in Bleach. So there's that. Um, regeneration. So even if Sasuke were to able to land an attack on Ukiyo and cut him, he would just regenerate. Which again, I don't see happening. Sasuke's AP is not. Ukiora's right now. Um, vaguely the same. I just, I still don't put, you know, Warrock Sasuke above planet or small planet. It's just, to me, it doesn't make sense to put, you know, Warrock Sasuke at a small planetary level of attack potency. Where Ukiora could be moon level. It could be done. Like, he definitely can just could destroy a moon with a couple of those lances or Silver Oscarosses. Um, you know, if he could display a multi-continental feat, he could destroy the moon. You know, it, it definitely can be done. With the amps that Sugunu Gutapa gives you, we already talked about his speed. Um, he could perform a continental feat in base, times 10, times another 10 on that. There you go. He gets way, way, way stronger. He would be able to perform that continental feat um, in Sugunu Gutapa times 100. Okay, um, and I'm not saying that's 100 continents like I've stated in another, another video of mine, but that should at least be a pretty high level of continents. So, yeah. Um, so at the end of the day, I definitely put Ukiyo above Warrock Sasuke. Um, he's much faster. AP is, could be the same, but I still put Ukiyo a little bit higher. He just displays some crazy, crazy, crazy large attacks. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming guys. Um, if you have any opinions uh, or statements, put them in the comments below. Thank you.